Hello friends, welcome to my next video. I hope you are doing good. This is the video based on the request from one of my YouTube uh, regular follower. She asked me to talk about how to stop our, what you call, just come out of the aversion in writing. I know that most of the researchers, they do the research, they do the experimental setup and other things, they'll continue, they'll, they'll continue very well. But when it comes writing, they'll have a problem. And they'll finish reading and everything, but when it comes in writing, they'll have a problem. So uh, she requested me to do a video on how to come out of this problem, aversion towards writing. How to come out, come out of aversion towards writing. If you want to come out of aversion towards writing, you need to know why do you get aversion. There are five reasons you get aversion. Number one is lack of clarity. Whenever you do not have a complete clarity about what you want to work on, absolutely, when you start writing, you may not know which one you need to start and have to start and all those problems will come. So first thing, you need to have a clarity. Second thing, fear of mistakes. Now, what will happen if I write it in wrong? Now, what, what will, you, know, you may have doubt about your grammar and other things. And that fear of mistakes, fear of writing in English, that will not allow you to write in English. That will not allow you to write whatever you have completed. That's the second reason. Third thing is less knowledge. Obviously, a lot of people, they will not read things completely. They will read only half, half of the thing, half-baked knowledge. Without getting a complete reading, without doing the complete reading, when you want to write, absolutely you cannot write because you don't have a proper knowledge. So first thing, uh, the most important thing, you need to confirm that you have a required knowledge. Fourth thing is poor understanding of the need. Actually, what, what do I mean by why you are writing research paper or what do you want to write? Do you have a required material or do you have a required understanding? Have you completed required reading for the, that thing? You need to confirm it. If you have done those things, then you can go ahead. Otherwise, you will not be able to do that thing. The fifth important problem in uh, no, our sin in writing is without not knowing the purpose of writing. What do you want? Why are you writing? Whether it is a research paper or a chapter or experimental setup, whatever the thing, you need to know the purpose. Without purpose, how will you be able to write? So these are the five important problems. Let me tell you again, lack of clarity, fear of mistakes, less knowledge, poor understanding and uh, without having the proper purpose of writing. How can you come out of this problem? First thing, for the lack of clarity, you need to read clearly, you need to understand. You have further you have to do again and again. That's number one. So when you do repeatedly one particular thing, if you read quite often, absolutely get a clarity, then you will be able to solve that problem. You will be able to start writing. Second thing, fear of mistakes. Now, what will happen if we make mistakes? Please first make mistakes. Start writing every day. If you do, if you are really doubtful about your uh, writing. You, the first thing what you have to do is every day you should start writing minimum one page or two page. Whatever comes to your mind, just scribble it. Just write it down. Then you yourself correct it. Then give it to one of your friends. That is called third option is called peer correction. Get, see after writing a one or two page every day, you do your own self correction. Then give it to one of your friend. Let him correct and give it to you because he will help you to avoid some mistakes. You have already avoided certain mistakes. Now it will be final. At least something fine-tuned thing will be version will be have. You will be having it. At last, you may give the same thing to your guide after your self-correction, after your peer correction. Then submit to the guide, get his feedback. Then based on the feedback, make sure that you are updating, you are correcting all those mistakes when you write next time. That's very important. If you have done it, and absolutely you can you can start the ball rolling. And the last thing, important thing, there are certain free resources, internet resources are available. Use it for example, Grammarly.com and other certain uh, websites. Up to certain pages you can uh, type and you can feed into the system. It will give you the what you call guideline. What are the mistakes you have committed and uh, what you can update, update all those things you can. Uh, you can simply it will help you. I, I can recommend two websites. One is Grammarly.com, up to some, I think, 500 words, you can check it up. And one more thing is writeandimprove.com. There also you can write and check and you will be able to verify whether your writing is good or bad. The last important thing is you need to take one model paper or whatever you want to write. 
you take it read between lines do a complete analysis about the paper how they have started how they have written uh, abstract how they have written introduction how they have written uh, methodology you do a detailed analysis about the particular research paper now you will get a complete idea so when you follow this methodology absolutely you can come out of the hours in of writing because most of the people you will complete research but only because of the hours in writing you will not be able to complete the what you call you will not be able to write thesis on time you will not be able to publish paper on time all these problem will come but when you follow these techniques whatever i have given in this video absolutely you can write well and you can complete everything on time i hope this video is useful to you and if you like it please don't forget to uh, hit the like button and share to a friend let them be uh, let them uh, get benefited and i'll meet you in the next video bye bye and one important thing please do not forget to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed i'll i'll meet you in the next video thank you bye bye